Hey YouTube, I got a new motor. This is the Transmagnetics 3 kilowatt. Let's see, I'm trying to balance this on my laptop. You can see that I'm at 38 volts. Well, 38.78 to be exact. Um, wiring on this motor is a little weird. What I did is I um, stuck these as the same colors they originally were and then black I made blue. And you'll notice on a regular hall sensor pin you've got blue, green, yellow. Well I took these original ones um, and I've got green, yellow, and brown which is off but whatever. Um, and the hall pins for the negative and positive 5 volts are the same. So this is an Infineon Snowman controller, uh, 12 fet. So let's spin her up on 38.77 volts. Got 27.95 RPM. I'll just spin that up again for you. And the amps. About 2.8 amps. About 106 watts of power to no load this. Um, so let's try a little higher voltage, eh? I'm going to go to 15 minutes. Light bulb. I'm at 58 volts. Let's spin it up. Forty-one sixty-four RPM on fifty-one. Or I'm sorry, fifty-eight point seventeen volts. Let's look at the watt usage. Three point six amps. About a little over two hundred watts. Let's uh, give this a spin on. 20S LiPo. This is my uh, 3 series connector here. I'm not going to plug up the uh, watt meter except actually put the watt meter on one of the batteries so it doesn't blow up because the voltage limit is just about 60 some odd volts. So we can note the amps, but not the uh, total watts, although you can figure that out with some pretty simple math. Okay, 20S. Big pop. <laughs> we got 38.19 volts times 2, so it's about 76, which is just about uh, the nominal voltage you charge 20S to. So, let's check it out. Looks like that we got 5,500 RPM, which is actually pretty ideal for this motor. Um, and I'll show you the watt usage. You'll have to multiply that by two. It was shaking because the camera was right next to the motor, but um, let's try that again. Let's see. You can 
see this. This multiplies this figure by two. About 180 amps, so 360 watts. Um, to spin this up to 5,500 RPM, which is not bad considering it will probably output a continuous of, oh, I don't know, 4, 4.5, 5 kilowatts. That's not too bad. Um, the fan certainly uh, uses some of that power. But I'll spin it up uh, through the full range so you can hear the motor. Oh, what the hell, let's try 120% setting. <laughs> Oh, 120% doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh well. So that's the motor. It's about 11 pounds. <sighs> Pretty badass looking motor so far. Um, lots of cogging here. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, of course when you spin it. It spins up pretty fast. <laughs> 